What's going on? Art Assault. Time lapse. Kevin yes. and Josh again? Again? Yeah, well, I ain't seen enough of our faces, have you? Look at these yeah, pretty faces. Yeah. Time Beautiful lapse number what? Nine? Big sexy. Eight. Saturday Night Live. Big sexy beard brand right there. <laughs> oh, yeah. So this is our time lapse video. If you don't know, we have a show called Art Assault. Where we Absolutely. talk, uh, yeah, where we uh, talk to some great, Kevin, handsome, and John. Yeah, it's weird, isn't it? Yeah, <laughs> we talk to some great people. We do a live painting. You can kind of see it over my shoulder right there. Uh, today's we called it self portraits. I think is what I called it, but you know, I mean, right. titles don't two, mean two shit. Two face version of self portrait yeah. of each other. Yep, two face. Uh, I did him. He did me. Uh, let's get this in there. Take it where you want. Get this over here. And so we're going to get right into it, right here. Maybe. We're starting the right place. So, yeah, we've been, the last piece, I, I did a wash a couple weeks ago, and I, I like it, and I talked Kevin into doing it on the, uh, whatever that guy's name was, our Valentine's Day special. Our Viking opera singer. Viking with emotion. With emotion. Yes, so I think that. It's a Viking in love. Yes. <laughs> and today was just a mashup of her. Uh, he did half of my face. I did half of his face. And uh, and it was a successful show, I think. So I'm drinking a Dos Equis. <laughs> it definitely was one that had no It pitches, went pretty really. smoothly. I think we're going to try to do a little format changes here in the future. Maybe only bring on one guest just to... So we can have more time with them. I mean, that's basically not it. Juggle so much. Right, right. I think initially we planned on it and somehow we just, hey, we can do that. Plus, that way we can get more people involved, I think, in the long run. I think we've uh, already burned to our friends. We we're, we're, we haven't really been trying to get interviews, but we need to. We got we're coming up to an end. I've, 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 I've tweaked some of them and said, hey, would you be interested? I just haven't called them yet yeah. because we are getting two months out, and that starts to get. Yeah, exactly. You know, we're not some big network. That can yeah. Have, we don't got have a, a whole office of people that say, hey. So, but we're going to have some good ones coming up here soon. Um, on this piece, though, like you said, they did the wash in a purple and gray. Yeah, purple and gray. Purple and gray. We actually got a comment from Sasakia on this. And, uh, it's pretty. Basically, anybody that's ever done portraits, um, when we're doing speed art, obviously we're not going as fast as what this shows, but you just put yes, the outline. Do. Yeah, <laughs> we have. We're I mean, fast. yeah. You know, you just you just kind of throw it on there, and if you know some, you know, as as you start to do, we both kind of understand the symmetrics of a face, and you know, people don't realize that you know your ears line up with your eyes, yeah, the middle of your eye and the bottom of your nose. You know, and there's some things, that, and if you're having a problem with getting an eye straight, if you look at our eyes, they're actually kind of straight. Even now, I think I made mine a little bit bigger than yours. Yeah, they're pretty close. And then, uh, you know, but they're equal; they're the same. And, uh, you know, that's, that's how it's just all symmetrics. Your nose lines up pretty much at the bottom of your ear and the middle of your ear lines up right across, you know, it's, it's, it's all symmetrical. And once you understand that all faces are pretty Yeah, Yeah. I used to not like doing portraits, but I've kind of been forced. I had a, my first commission back in action was I think two years, Mr. Big Chuck had, had an anniversary one. So that was other than a sugar skull that I didn't really like. <laughs> sugar skulls are weird anyway. But I, I don't, I don't, it came out all right for my some. first painting in like 20 years. Yeah. And then the second one was a was a commission and anniversary gift. And so no pressure. But uh, they were happy with it. So, I mean, I, I was pretty happy with the way it came out. It, you know. And I got to admit, I wasn't sure about this one. Um, on the coloring, you know, he, he does more of a stay with the same color and shade. Me, I start throwing in like, I threw in pink. I even threw in some <laughs> blue. There's some green in there. Um, you know, because you literally sit down and look at you know, look at your arm. You can see like five different colors. Yep. And I'm talking extreme, like green, some blue, some red. Especially under the green light. Yeah, and stuff like that. So, Why is it crooked? So it's all, you know, there's like shades Ghetto and fabulous. stuff like that. And, um, you know, yeah, it was the only a... advantage I think I had is because in the picture, your beard had no reflection at all, <laughs> so I just kept it all black. Yeah, <laughs> that's I mean, it's a gift and it's a curse. I, I want some salt threw, and pepper I still, in I there. Still, to... I still did throw a little bit of uh, I can't wear black shirts because you can't see my beard, I can't see, can't wear white shirts because it shows too much to my beard, so it's like, damn, 
You have to start wearing well. Yeah, tie dye. Grays, yeah. I mean, tie dyes <laughs> don't really help it either, but. You know, from here, it looks like we're going to propel it on the top of our beams, doesn't it? <laughs> with, <laughs> so, with the, the shit. So, we, we just need to add a little bow up there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So but, that was our episode eight. And thanks to uh, uh, Dusty and some yep. Tia. And it was cool listening to her play. And yeah, we she played. It, so we're going to be sending it everywhere. Yeah, she played uh, Better Days. Tight. We were going to play their videos on YouTube, but Dusty, being the seasoned vet he is, said, don't do it or you will be muted. Well, see, when I'm playing live music and I'm doing the music, if the if you actually catch it, they usually don't catch me until they block me. So people who catch me live get to hear it. But I'm primarily just showing people what I'm painting. So yeah. if the music goes off, I don't care. A lot of times I've learned, too, just to start it over. And then you can start again and get another 10 minutes out of it. Yeah. So. But they have caught on to me a few times when I when I was doing a whole bunch like every day. Yeah, damn the man, them. damn the man. And I just want to do it so I can support the music. And maybe I'll just have to invade these bands in their practice spaces someday and just do art when they're. In. Maybe that's the way I need to yeah. do it. Yeah. So you local bands out Party there, you got practice, and you want me to come in and do some uh, speed art with you guys, and also present some of your music on some of my pages. I haven't really formatted anything where it's set it just floats through the week oh, kind of when i feel like doing it so call me and say hey kevin get your ass over here bring your art stuff and I'll, it's the chalk stuff because it's only i only spend 30 minutes on it so you know one good solid set of a band usually yep well, all right guys uh hope next. you enjoyed next week we've got teresa zardo and polly ann windham formerly of the punk necks and now she's solo have you followed up and you followed up and made sure everything's I, I, still good. I constantly talk to her all the time. Okay, I haven't so. talked to her about the show, but I will this week. All right, so hopefully we can make contact too. and get that uh, squared away. But what yeah. else? It'll be Polly Punk next, uh, a Nashville artist now, but she's from Wichita, so it's always cool when she comes back. Yeah, I've seen she was doing some shows this week, so hopefully. And then uh, Teresa Zardoz is a local renaissance she's kind of like josh and i except a female version she's in a band she's a model she does art um, I, i've seen her cook some really good stuff so i don't know what else she does she's a, like she's become a fitness instructor and crazy crazy world yeah. that she's in um, but that's a lot a lot of us are like we're all just like you know ooh, shiny we go there and then mm -hmm. shiny, we go there but yep. we do a lot of stuff so and and Teresa does have a piece up in the uh, Mulberry too. Yeah. So like I say, Mulberry, check them out. Kevin will be there tomorrow. You probably won't see this video then, so I don't know. Maybe, maybe <laughs> it'll be he'll be there Monday. We'll we'll just say that. I'll try to get it out. And if it works out, I'm they got a few more weeks. Maybe I can. Yeah, I think there's some. I think that that uh, exposition is exhibits run until the nineteenth. March. Another place where one's starting to wrap up is the uh, Wichita Art Museum and the uh, Foot in the Door people. Uh, I think there's one more month left on it, too. So get your butts over there and you'll see a lot of local artists and then even some kids that this is their first piece they ever did. It was cool how they let people yeah. in. Um, you got to support the local, and that's where it's really at, believe it or not. Because uh, if you want a local, businesses to strive and local artists to strive you got to support them and that's where it's really really at speaking of local thanks to our sponsors the roscoe's, roscoe's hot sauce <laughs> we had so much fun saying yes that. we do the big sexy big sexy beard brand yeah it's got some great sense there's a lot websites getting ready to go live very soon it's How got do you two catch new... me sunbathing out there on that shadow thing that's, yeah. that's definitely my body yeah i know not really my beard, but it's my they're, body. They're stalking you. <laughs> He's got some new products coming out. It's not only beards. He's got a uh, brown sugar scrub and uh, some stuff coming out for the ladies. And I know for a fact their new labels are fire. Mm -hmm. Fire. And you can find us here. Room Green Productions. TikTok, Facebook, Josh, JRB5, Bethel on YouTube. Please subscribe, like, follow, share. All that jazz. And, and have... I'm always posting my artwork. 
So definitely check it out. Check both of us out yep. if you want some commissions. Or not even commissions. Just check us out. We got other art floating around. Yeah, you're, you're hidden there. You know, I do have a YouTube channel. I just discovered. I set it up like years ago. <laughs> I've got a couple of them. But this is the one I use, and this yeah. is what we broadcast I'll live on. Of course, the Talking Beards Network over here. <laughs> they got YouTube, Twitch, Facebook. Your finger in the Beard Network. <laughs> and I think they're... I don't know if we're sponsored by Poop Knife because they are, but they got a poop knife. And I don't know if you know what a poop knife is, but if you don't know what a poop knife is, you need to. It's like a poop spoon. (laughs) (laughs) But all right, guys, we're going to get off here. Have a good night. And we will see you probably before Sunday, but Sunday, next Sunday, 6 p.m. If you're ever interested in our art or even suggesting for our next art, man, get a hold of us somehow. We will do it. It'll be our version. So. Yep. <laughs> Unless you're really specific, like, I feel. Yeah, really, really specific. Oh, I thought she first said a unicorn stomping a squirrel on fire. Right, come on, and I was like, you're what? Gonna get, you're going to get a splag by PETA again. <laughs> All right, guys. Have a good night. See you. See ya.